Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are working in Corel Draw version X6 Essentials. Now remember this uh, Corel will work with Hatch, it'll work with Genomi Digitizer MBX V5 and it works with Bernina as well. I am working in Hatch because that's what I have and I love Hatch of course uh, but it should work similar in these other programs. So I've done two videos before this one so if you're just brand new to this Corel I suggest watching the first two videos so you know what's going on because we're gonna run through the basics that we've already gone over pretty quickly on this one. So we start off with a new document and I just zoomed out a little bit. We are going to go up here to shapes and click on it and down here and we're going to do a heart again just because I think it's awesome. Now for this one it has to be a little bit bigger than what we've done before. Um, now let me get rid of that and we can figure it out. That is our basic shape. We just pulled out a heart and it's quite large. So, I mean, that'll work out fine. We want it to be, uh, if it doesn't work, try doing it again and making it larger. So let's do, let's do a four. Yeah, I think a four thickness. You can play around with that and see how it works. So for this one, we're going to do something actually really cool. We are going to fill it and we go to pattern. And we're going to fill this with, with a pattern. Now here you have a lot of options, but what we're interested in is the two color. You can check them out, but they're a little bit too complicated and they probably won't transfer over to the embroidery very well. So just for now, stick with the two color. And if you click on here, you can see there are a lot of patterns to play with. They're absolutely fantastic. We could put hearts, spades, clubs, flowers, and a whole bunch of things. Now, the other thing is that it's not limited to just looking like this because you can make adjustments with everything. Now, there's a lot of stuff that looks pretty complicated, but for now, we're just going to pay attention to the size. And all I did was change it from the default four to one. And that's all I want you to do other than changing the colors. Now just pick two contrasting colors, not black and white because it's going to get a little confused. Something really bright and dark sort of thing. It doesn't even matter. And leave everything else for now. You can go around and you can play with them and see what other designs you can come up with just from this. It's easy. And then look at that. Okay, that's a bit bright. Kind of awesome, but a bit bright. Now, the last thing that you have to do, and you absolutely have to do this, if you go ahead and convert this right now, Hatch or the other embroidery programs are not going to be able to understand this. And you'll get a dark outline with a tatami fill in it. So we want the embroidery program to see what we're doing. We want these polka dots. And all you have to do is go up here to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and what we're going to do is leave everything the way it is. This is the default settings. You can mess around with them later, but for now, just leave it at default because it works fine. And click OK. And now the colors changed a little bit, but that's OK. We're going to have to change them all when we go into embroidery anyways. So make sure it's all highlighted and make sure you click on the convert artwork to embroidery and just hold on just a minute and it's going to look like a bit of a mess just right away but you can see what we have going on look there's all these embroidery pieces how fantastic is that and it's just a matter of doing this we're going to it's actually easier to go to colors we don't want any of the white it saw the white but we don't want it Let's go back then to our objects and we straight up can change this one. Let's make it a little bit prettier than we did before. Look at that. It changed it all. Now, one thing I noticed, it's not it's not perfect for this little trick, but it's OK. Click on these ones turned out to be satin stitches and I do want them just as flat stitches. Make sure you're clicking on the right one. And all you have to do is click on them 
and change them to tatami. And there you go, tatami and tatami. And there we go, there's a few more to change, but let's go right down to the bottom and let's change this to black so it looks like we had it before. And look at that, and now each part, if you didn't want these holes, because we digitized them, you know, basically in embroidery, you can just pull them out. And if you look, they're perfectly cut out. Everything is perfect. If, for example, you wanted to change a couple of these dots, polka dots, because they're all done separately, then it's going to, um, you can change the color. So if you wanted to write a secret message in here, um, you can do that just by changing the colors of the ones that you want. How cool is that? So because you create it all in Corel and convert it, and remember, converting isn't always perfect. You gotta remember that it's not a perfect thing. The only way to get it perfect is by digitizing it yourself. But this is awesome just to do a quick conversion and get it looking pretty darn good pretty quickly. So that's an O and that's an L and I'll figure out how to do an M. But if you wanted to make a pattern, you could do that. I would also suggest connecting all of these because if you look, there's quite a few jump stitches going on. Um, but I would uh, maybe do this part to cover over top of all these jump, jump stitches or you could try branching them. There's quite a few things you can do. But for now, I'm thinking for a quick conversion, that looks fantastic. It would take a lot longer to do that straight up in, in just embroidery. And I think that is a neat little trick. So you can go back and forth and you can experiment with the different patterns. You can move the rows around, you can offset them, and you can come up with really cool cookie cutter patterns that you can then convert into embroidery. Um, but that is how it, it is done here inside Corel and Hatch. So thanks everyone for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me know you want more videos just like this. Um, happy digitizing everyone. Remember to have fun in Corel and in Hatch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.